everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another one of my episodes of the Advanced Sarm series where I go more into depth on an advanced review. And this review is going to be LG D4033, one of the most popular SARMs, a second generation SARMs. Please subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to rebuild my social media as my old channel got terminated. And if anything happens to this channel, please follow me on Instagram at RussoLips where you can talk to me directly. So, Leg and Draw, LGD4033. This is the original LGD. There are L other LGDs out there, but I'm going to be talking about only 4033 this video. LGD4033 is a second generation SARM. So, it is one of the original SARMs and one of the most popular SARMs in the bodybuilding community. Remember, SARMs are for research purposes only and they are not for human consumption. I am personally talking about my experiences with my test subjects and I am displaying this information just to share information and nothing more. Do not do what I do and take my information with a grain of salt like anyone else on the internet making videos. However, LGD4033, I have a lot of experience with LGD4033 and it is definitely one of the more powerful SARMs when it comes to gaining size. LGD4033's benefits are like all SARMs, it is not steroidal in structure. So when you put up a structure, a chemical structure of like let's say testosterone and LGD4033, they really do not look alike. LGD4033 would look more like a serum or a selective estrogen receptor modulator, so it's non-steroidal. And it is not very androgenic and highly anabolic. <clears throat> LGD4033, another benefit would be its effect on the prostate. It is not going to bind with the prostate nearly as bad as testosterone, so when you're blasting testosterone you are getting the AR saturated in the muscle but also your organs your prostate and other areas of the body it's not very accurate where LGD 4033 is kind of singling out and targeting the skeletal muscle and bone so bone density and skeletal muscle that's why they are called selective and another benefit of LGD 4033 would be it's <clears throat> low hepatoxicity. So other orals such as Dianabol and T-Ball Superdraw are much more hepatoxic to the liver than let's say LGD4033 so your enzymes will not be nearly as raised as blasting orals which makes it very popular in a cruise or makes it very popular if you're not about um, toxic orals or you have alcohol and you don't want to combine alcohol with toxic orals because that is not good. Now, some of the side effects of LGD4033, like any androgens, could upset your cholesterol imbalance, so that needs to be monitored through blood work to keep that in check, as well as suppression. LGD4033 is one of the more suppressive SARMs and can cause in high enough dosages full HBT derail. So you can pretty much completely crash your natural testosterone with high enough dosages of LGD. Although I'm affiliated with SARMs companies and like the SARMs guy, I will always give honest information. LGD4033 definitely needs a PCT, such as Clomid, Novadex, or Tormaphine after, and you cannot get away with no PCT. Although it is possible that your levels will come back naturally, you are risking having low levels for an extended period of time and possibly atrophying your muscle mass that you, you know, substitute those androgens to put on just to lose it as well as strength loss, libido loss. So definitely have a PCT on deck. That is the main side effect of LGD4033. What I, what I see most people mess up with is they don't have something post-cycle. Can LGD cause gyno? Technically no, as all SARMs don't convert to estrogen or DHT. However, SARMs have a higher binding affinity than your natural testosterone, which is going to cause your natural testosterone to not be able to bind to the AR it normally binds, which could cause spillover and more conversion to estrogen and DHT. This could lead to a fluctuation of estrogen levels in the beginning of the cycle when you're adding an LGD and your natural testosterone has not auto-regulated and suppressed itself. That means that there is a possibility for gyna, so I always recommend on any androgen cycle whatsoever, if you're substituting exogenous androgens, whether it be steroids or SARMs, you should always have an AI on hand, just in case, because no one wants to pay $4,000 plus to have their gyna removed. 
So you could have a Zemi stain or um, aromacin, <clears throat> a Zemi stain, aromacin, or a stain, also known as androstadione something, um, commonly known as a stain, on hand just in case any of that happens. Another thing to note with LGD4033 is the possibility for cramping. This is the biggest side effect I get with LGD4033, so it's very important to have your potassium intake in check. Also, LGD4033 is known for a water retention. It does not have anything to do with estrogen per se. It is more due to a mineral imbalance. So eating clean and having your sodium intake low and your potassium and taurine high will definitely help combat some of those side effects. Getting on to the pros, LGD4033 is one of the best weight gainers with a low hepatoxicity, so there's no no real impact on the liver compared to stuff like Dianabol, and it is a oral form, so that means there is no injections involved with LGD4033, and since the low hepatoxicity it can be run for long periods of time, obviously the longer you run it the more suppressed you will be, so there might be a base of testosterone that needs to be added depending on the levels you start out with naturally. Now, LGD also causes big, big pumps. I get full all day, like a nitrogen retention look similar to when you're on testosterone, and it definitely gives you a much fuller, rounder look. Personally, I don't get the biggest strength gains with the LGD4033, however, other people have gone massive strength gains with it. I more notice the weight gain, the hunger side effects, and the biggest benefit of LGD4033, which is very helpful in athletics, is the ability for more muscular endurance. So instead of fatiguing with a 5x5 five five with 225, so let's say you do you know 5x5, five five, 225, 5 sets, 5 reps. Now you can probably do an extra 3 sets of 5 reps with no fatigue. This allows you to increase your overall workout volume and recover faster, which will yield some more muscle results. <clears throat> Dosages with LGD4033 have been known for 10 to all the way up, I've seen 40 milligrams per day. Personally, for your clam or test subject, I would recommend 10 to 15 milligrams per day. I have personally experimented with um, levels up to 40 milligrams per day, but the cholesterol imbalance and side effects is not worth it. I had the worst suppression from that cycle of 40 milligrams a day of LGD4033 and it required a monster PCT to bring my levels back. However, at 10 to 15 milligrams per day, you will definitely, definitely get a much, <clears throat> you will definitely get the most out of it with the least amount of side effects. PCT wise for LGD4033, like I said in the beginning, I definitely recommend having a legit serum on hand such as Novadex, Clomid, or Tormaphene. And personally, I think a mini PCT is fine of four weeks of standard dosages or slightly lower dosages of the SERMs. You don't need a full PCT per se, but it's nice to have a little kickstart to tell your body to start producing natural tests again and get your HPTA back online. Also, it's important to get blood work checked to make sure your luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone are within range, as well as keep an eye on your HDL and LDL to make sure that was not skewed. Overall, I think LGD4033 is number one, going to be a very good asset in the medical community for stopping muscle wasting diseases without having a dramatic impact on personal health. As LGD4033 is very selective, it's not going to bind with the prostate. There's very little side effects with LGD4033 personally that I've witnessed. My blood pressure has personally never increased other than the fact that water weight when my diet was out of check, obviously holding more mineral retention will increase blood pressure, but if you keep that in check, I really didn't notice anything else. Slight body heat at the higher dosages, but overall compared to anabolic steroids, which I have some experience with, the side effects are basically nothing compared to that. And overall, the benefits, in my opinion, far outweigh the risk compared to other oral steroids, which are much more hepatoxic. LGD4033 really shines in bulking up. It's not the best cutter. Some people are able to recomp depending on how the water affects you, how clean you keep your diet. Overall, I think LGD4033 is the most popular SARM for a reason because a lot of people are looking to put on size and LGD4033 is definitely the best bet. 
You could stack LGD4033 with MK677, which will hit another pathway, which is a growth hormone secretagogue. However, you have to know the individual side effects and benefits of 677, which you can watch my other video on that. Overall, I like LGD. I always have seen great results from people with LGD, and people have very few complaints with LGD besides the water weight. So I hope this review helped you a lot. Again, I have a lot of experience with it and have documented multiple cycles with it. Obviously, those aren't on YouTube anymore because YouTube doesn't like my information. But yeah, feel free to comment anything down below. If you have more questions, always DM me on Instagram at RussoLifts. That's the fastest way to get a hold of me. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this little advanced review of LGD 4030.